reading a story called My Attitude of Gratitude. Now, this book is American, so that means that some of the words in this text are going to be spelt differently. All right, let's go. My Attitude of Gratitude. This book belongs to you. My parents forgot to buy me a new ball. I felt so sad. I wasn't happy at all. Then Granny asked, What's wrong, my little bee? I explained, Nothing good ever happens to me. Granny hugged me close to her chest. I think perhaps we should do a little test. Every night you'll write notes, my shiny star, and put them into a gratitude jar. I decorated the jar and put it next to my bed, but I had nothing to write, as my grandma said. Then I imagined grandma's gentle kiss. So I took the paper and wrote down this bliss. Every night I wrote something down, like when I went to the circus and met a funny clown. I noticed my baby sister's first word. I even wrote down when I rescued a bird. Soon my jar was full. I scratched my head. There were still so many things I wanted to add. So I wrote a letter to thank everyone and read it to my family when it was all done. I am grateful to have this warm home. I always feel loved under this dome. I am grateful to have a sister. She can be a little pest, but spending time with her is always the best. I am grateful to my brother for playing with me. He taught me which soccer player I want to be. I love it when my grandma tells me a fairy tale and I love it when my grandpa teaches me how to sail. I am grateful to my parents for buying me a dog. I would be grateful even if they called me a pet frog. I am grateful to my dad for working hard. You are my hero, my role model and my guard. And I give a special thanks to my beautiful mum. Thank you for always being so gentle and calm. Thank you for loving me even when I am wrong. To be a mother, I know you have to be very strong. I realised I don't need a fortune or a new toy. The biggest treasure is to be your little boy. I am happiest when I see the glow in your eyes. I just wanted to tell you that I love you all guys. My mother hugged me once I was done, and I am grateful to have such a wonderful son. Then we sat down to eat dinner, prepared by my mother, each happy and grateful to have each other.